Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Falvo. Let's talk about convergence insufficiency. It can also be called binocular dysfunction. Convergence insufficiency quite simply means that of your two eyes, one of them or both have a difficulty turning in or converging. Let me show you. So if we use this diagram as we are looking down on a child's head, the two pens represent their eyes looking straight ahead, and the index card labeled in the back, the brain, will be their brain. What happens? As they look across the room at, let's say, a clock on the wall, the right eye points at the clock, takes a picture of that clock, sends it back to the brain. Left eye hopefully points at the same clock, takes a picture of that clock, it's the same picture, goes back to the brain. Now the brain's job is to just take those two pictures of an identical clock and fuse them together, use them as one. When we read, the student has to do a little more work. We'll put a flashcard with the sight word cat on it in front of the student. And in order to see it and read it, the student has to converge or turn in his two eyes to focus on it. If he does this correctly and accurately, the left eye will take a picture of the word cat send it back to the brain, left eye sends it back the same picture of the word cat, and the brain takes those two images and once again fuses it and uses it. In convergence insufficiency, however, the eyes have a little difficulty turning in. So after a time, when the eyes get a little tired, one of the eyes drifts off, the right eye sends back a picture of the word cat, left eye is off target, sends back a picture of, in this case, a blank space, the brain gets a picture of the word cat and a blank, tries to fuse those together, not really a big deal, just uses the word cat and goes on. It gets a little bit more challenging, however, once the student starts to read sentences. Let's say the student reads the sentence, the cat ran down the street. The student may start off okay with accurate alignment on the word the and read the, and then turn his eyes and read the word cat. But let's say by the time he gets to the word ran, the eyes fatigue, one of the eyes slide off, and the right eye sends back a picture of the word ran, but the left eye sends back a picture of the word cat. Now we have two unlike images, but the brain's still gonna try to fuse them together. And in this case, the student may have read well for a short while, the cat, but when he got to ran and the eye slipped and he jams those two words together, he may force a manufactured word out of that combination. So he may say the cat can because he uses letters from both words. Or he may say the cat rat, which totally doesn't make sense, but would come from that manufactured word. Another student that has convergence insufficiency may also, as they read, skip over words that don't make sense to them. And thirdly, a student with convergence insufficiency may lose his place with regularity. So the three things that you'll look for if you suspect convergence insufficiency is putting words in that don't belong, skipping over words that are really there, and a student who loses his place. I hope this helps